The city can be cruel sometimes. It'll chew you up and spit you right back out like a piece of old gum. As soon as things are looking up, they come crumbling back down. She was the type of woman that could make a grown man weep. Jaws dropped as she walked by. It was at this very diner that we first met. This run-of-the-mill joint, this greasy spoon. I was trying to get my mind off another unsolved case with a late night brew. What she was doing here at that hour, I wasn't sure. But I was damned to find out. So it's a pretty lady like you doing out in this area alone at almost half past midnight. Shouldn't you be home by now? I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Old or young. It's dangerous out there. These streets can be tough on a gal. I think I'll be fine. Some people think I'm a little too feisty. I could see why. Say, it's getting a bit chilly out here. How's about we go back inside, warm up with another drink? That sounds like a mighty fine plan to me. That was a night, I'll tell you. If there was any chick that could make my heart skip a beat, it was Sally Powers. We must have drank enough to knock out a small country. And being who I am, I insisted on walking her home. All right, all right. My house is just at the end of the road. You can't come with me, though. If my parents see you, they're going to kill me. I'd be a dead girl. Sally. Don't talk like that. Now, if you say me being around is gonna cause you trouble, I'll leave it be. But you get home quick. Be safe. Lock the doors. This place is not what it used to be. Sure thing, Marshall. You know, you're one of the nicest men I've met in a while. Not too hard on the eyes, either. Thanks for tonight. You really make a woman feel special. Have a good night, Sally. I hope I'll be seeing you again, Detective. It's a small town. I'll be around. And there she went. Disappeared. Vanished, like a wisp of smoke in the fog of night. That was the last time anybody saw her, dead or alive. She's been missing for weeks. The last person she was with, this fellow right here. With all of my sources coming up dry, I'm starting to feel the squeeze. I'm hitting a roadblock. These cases have about as much in common as me and my ex-wife. After all of my searching, I feel right back at stage one. I left her alone on that cold street. And then it hit me. I've been looking forward all along. I've been too stupid to look back. Back to stage one. Back to where I left Sally on the street. There has to be more. Something I'm not picking up on. you back to these parts. You're a long way from home. I'm trying to piece together some of the same events you are, Inspector. We both want to find Sally Powers alive and well. You sure about that, Marshal? Watch yourself, Rex. Talk like that could get a man into some serious trouble. Calm down. 
I haven't really said anything. I'm simply doing what you already pointed out. I'm trying to piece everything together. And you, you just have this obsession. Girl. So what what have you been up to all this time? One day you're trying to expose some big scandal on the police force. The next day you pack up your bags and leave town. Pressure getting too much for you, Marshal. If you don't mind, I'm on my way back to the office. You know we could work on this together. We weren't that bad of a team. Yeah, like two peas in a pod. faster than I can keep track. What the hell am I doing here? What was I thinking? If I get caught, my career is over. Come up from behind the shadows, Marshal. We'll want to see your hands up. What the hell is this? This is madness. I didn't do anything. The perpetrator always returns to the scene of the crime. I was just... Never fails. I was just looking for her like you and the rest of your damn force. You know me. I don't think I do know you. Back to your squad car. I want a moment with Mr. Mercer. Remember, Marshal, your past always has a way of coming back to haunt you. You're insane, Rex. Tell it to the judge. Officer! Enjoy the ride back downtown. It'll be a long one. Ha, ha, ha. 